looking ahead on Marketplace, today we are heading back to the kitchen for one more recipe with the Illinois Product Farmers Market before the market ends this week. Plus, I'll be joined by Cindy Long of USDA to discuss a new initiative to make school food healthier for children. Good morning, everyone. Can you believe it's September 23rd already? Fall is officially in the air. Thank you for joining News Channel 20 Marketplace. I'm Benny Harmony, and I'm going to fill you in on all things trending today. So grab your cup of coffee and let's jump into some stories that I think you'll find interesting. First, a fifth grader in Arkansas is provided is proving she belongs on the football field. Javita Young is a force to be reckoned with at Oak Grove Middle School in Paragold down in southeast Arkansas. She's not just any player. She's a running back on offense and a linebacker on defense. Some boys on the opposing team think they can get under her skin, but little do they know she shows them how it feels to be tackled by a girl. And this past Saturday, Javita's team crushed it with a win of 22 to 6. Her parents and big brother are beaming with pride and hope that Javita inspires other girls to join in on the fun, both on and off the field. A company known for its adult party game is suing SpaceX founder Elon Musk. Cards Against Humanity made headlines by buying land in Brownsville, Texas back in 2017. They did it to protect the area from a possible border wall. Now they're accusing Elon Musk of letting his SpaceX employees trespass and damage their land. The lawsuit claims that contractors recently removed some of the beautiful greenery and covered the soil with gravel to create parking for SpaceX vehicles. And guess what? They're suing Musk for a whopping $15 million. As of now, no word from Musk on this one, but stay tuned. Vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance joined Tucker Carlson for an in-depth interview. Vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance said he is feeling confident. He says he has 100% faith that Trump will win the election. Vance sat down with Fox host Tucker Carlson this past Saturday in Pennsylvania, and he was ready to spill the tea, as the kids say. He encouraged everyone to stay engaged and not to fall for polls, no matter which way they swing. He motivated voters to keep their eyes on the prize. The full interview with Carlson will air soon, and we will have more about what Vance has to say. Stay tuned. Finally, astronauts aboard Soyuz, I think is how you say it, are headed back to Earth. NASA astronaut Tracy Dyson and her cosmic crew are blasting off from the International Space Station today and heading back home. The Soyuz spacecraft made its grand exit overnight, and now it's on a journey to land off the coast of Kazakhstan this morning. Tracy spent a whopping 184 days floating around in space on her fourth out of this world adventure. After landing, she'll be heading back to Houston to her family. Those are your trending stories for today. We have an amazing show ahead. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.